Hello and greetings, my fellow Lundarkians, and welcome to the Hesitant Prospect Update. Yeah, if I've actually been playing this all day, you saw me on the live stream for about seven or eight hours. I've been playing a bit off camera recording videos, a how to to get Ash Canyon, starting the Ash Canyon tour guide as well. I have spent all day in the update, still got to hit Dark Walker. Uh, there's a couple of known bug issues with that we'll talk about. That. This is basically an overall review of everything in the Hesitant Prospect Update. Though I gotta do give up some props. The lighting in this map is amazing. You actually see here, really the light crisp pops and the shades of dark pop as well. We're actually gonna kind of show off where we are on the map. I do think you should bring a couple, uh, yeah, cans of paint with you if you do find any to, if you want to map it out. Uh, cause you will find yourself getting lost a little bit so this does help out. Alright, so we are up on a little bit of the right part of the map. Yeah, we've actually mapped out vast majority, vast majority. Uh, this is where you come in uh, from the uh, Echo Ravine entrance to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. That will come and bring you up on the basin. Uh, there is a, well enough, yeah, you go up here. Uh, there is a the Bitter Marsh, and there's a nice little fishing hut as well, if you saw it during the stream. But basically, right around here to your west is where the second entrance is. We didn't cover that on this run. But we do got quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, there is a series of uh, bridges which we'll go through in our tour video. Uh, it isn't quite as uh, easy as you think. It's a little complex, but once you figure it out, basically you're taking, uh, yeah, getting up to here, taking over the high meadow, going over to Miner's Folly, etc., etc. Then you got a couple more bridges. And that will kind of bring you down. Then there's a rope. You are going to have to bring your own rope, but there's a number of them along the way. And that will bring you down to the mining camp and one of two items that are unique and only in the Ash Canyon region. Not craftable. You have to find them here. So even if you didn't, we're like, yeah, I don't want to go to the new map. If you want the new hotness, you're kind of going to go out there. But all right, let's bring up inventory now. As you will notice, I have a base carry weight now, and I'll probably show off a screenshot here a base carry weight of the tactical we'll screen's got a tactical backpack i will do a separate video on how to get there and show you where it is in the mining camp because they're, they're both items are right next to each other but this does now give you a base carrying weight of 35 kilograms uh add the moose hide satchel that's another five kilograms on top of that that'll bring you up to 40 kilograms and plus the well-fed you will be up to a staggering 45 kilograms in carrying weight. That is, oh, like a boss. Like a boss. But all right. Now, the light pops very, very well in this map. It is quite nice. So, we're actually, we're going to kind of head up. And we're actually, why don't we go out in this video? Because I'm going to tell you, talk in a while anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go up and out. The light really pops. You will notice during this video there is a music stinger that is unique uh, to this Ash Canyon reason as well. Very beautiful. Yeah, the rot light really pops on this map. I'll have to check it out and call the console versions as well. I know for Xbox and PS4 it did update. I don't know about. Uh, we got a box pack over here too. I don't know about the Switch unfortunately. I'll check uh, when I get time. I've just been so busy today. It down a little bit. We'll show off the bridges. The bridges, uh, not as scary after you do it a couple times as I was initially thinking. I'm like, oh, it's worse than the trestle. It feels worse than the trestle, but it's actually less dangerous than the trestle. It visually it kind of throws you off. So I hope nobody fell off, but it's actually quite easy, quite easy. And there is a lot of birch. Uh, on Pilgrim alone, yeah, we'll bring it to our first couple of bridges here. Let's see if I did mark this one or not. I usually have been marking everything. So we got a fire spot by the bridge here. Fire spot for the bridge, so I think we are at... Should be, because the other one over there should be... High Meadow. Alright, just uh, be a little careful. You can fall through those little cracks, but... I've just been kind of careful because it sways 
Uh, even during a high wind, though, it has not been bad. I've not fallen. This is okay. Alright. And that marked that with an X. So basically, yeah, we're up here. We'll go to Miner's Folly. Uh, Foreman's Retreat as well. If you're going to make a base in Interloper, this is the spot. It is quite nice. There is a bear out here named Billy. Billy likes to party. And Billy tastes delicious. Oh, man. Also, 2020 phrasing is not a thing anymore. Uh, but yeah, this is a very nice area. This is kind of, there is a cabin in here, but it's not like where I'd want to stay. It, it's all right. We'll go in here real quick. It's it's all right. There's a couple nice storage areas out here as well. And out at that fishing hut down below, there is a fishing area. Though it isn't like a really great fishing area just because firewood on the bottom of the uh, basin of Ash Canyon is all the burned down trees. Not very abundant. Got a little bit of storage in here. It's not bad. It's got a nice, okay bed. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know, kind of depressing. Probably like working here, uh, but all right. Let's get out. Got a little bit of reclaimed wood you can grab as well. And that's very important because we might actually do this during the video too. I do want to show you these signs. These signs are very important. You want to follow these signs to the letter. Don't go wandering off. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Yeah, I got a supply bin here. Very important. This is going to be a great thing for fighting cabin fever as well. Because you got a workbench out here. There is no forge. If there is, oh, I will update this video, but... I have checked extensively. Yeah, we got a workbench. More interior areas than I were thinking. I don't think people are going to more than more. They're not going to be happy, but people are never happy. So you can get a fire in here. Now, I don't know if it's broken, but I cannot get... I think it's that might be unintended. But yeah, no looting that one. But there's a workbench here. Very nice. Oh, also we need to talk about Crampon. I actually had to look up how to say that. Uh, the crampons. Traction for your feet, rope climbing, drains less stamina. Now this is right, it'll be right next to the backpack. The tactical backpack. It is right next to it. You can't miss it. Uh, yeah, sprains are less frequent. Rope climbing is very nice on this. It is very nice. And travel over weak ice. I haven't tried it out yet because the closest weak ice is like coastal highway. It's like, oh man. It'll be nice when we get back, so beach combing, much easier. Forlorn musk egg. Oh, more dreamy, even bleak inlet. But alright. So let's go to Foreman's uh, retreat here. Oh, Billy should be curing quite nicely. Yeah, Billy the bear. He was funny because he just kept falling asleep after I put a flare directly into him. Oh, Billy. He was fun. We'll grab some food if we need it. I want to get that well-fed perk again. During the live stream, I accidentally let it expire because I, I wasn't really paying attention, unfortunately. Now there's some of Billy right over there. Oh. Hey, Billy. Oh, right, bye, Billy. Yeah, so I feel like there's a couple bugs. Uh, one of the bugs also to mention is that badges are disappearing. Challenges are getting... People are getting credit for challenges and even though they didn't do the challenges, it's... A little bit crazy. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that, Will. All right. We're a little bit cold. Yeah, there is a two-slot stove in here. That's why I say I much prefer it. There's a fireplace as well. Hey, Billy. You're doing good. Plenty of firewood. How's our carry weight? I think we can grab a little bit more. Also, is there no charcoal? Nope. Got any charcoal here? All right. Very nice. I said, nice bed. 30 kilograms. And also, there's other areas out there. It's not really a bad, a nice, bad place to stay. I really do love this map, especially for Interloper. It feels more open, more robust. The lighting is great. Hush River Valley, 
I hate to speak, let's just whisper a little bit. It's a little bit ugly. It's just not, it just, it's not pretty compared to Ash Canyon. That is uh, quite nice. You got a little suitcase under there as well. It's, it's not bad. There might be a rifle spawn here. I don't know. D it didn't happen this time, but maybe there will be. Who knows? Uh, gonna be at the multiple visits to here to confirm that. Well, it's about midday. I think we can. I'm gonna go warm up really quickly, though. Let's get a bit more energy. Uh, there are a number of ropes to go up in and out, and we'll cover that in the tour video. It's a lot easier to show you how to get to that mine while we're doing this. So number of there are rabbit uh, near here as well. So it's very viable for a long-term stay. You are going to have to bring... Uh, firewood is going to be a bit of an issue. Fortunately, weather is a bit of an issue as well. And as you get out here to uh, Miner's Folly, you're going to want to follow these signs. Very important you follow these signs and don't go wandering off. I know you're going to want to. Like myself kind of did. Got a number of uh, scrub brush, though. If you do have your makeshift hatchet, is that? Yeah, scrub brush. A little bit of a fire. That's quite a bit of sticks. Yeah, but firewood isn't, like, insanely abundant up here. Alright, so let's go to our first sign. Not a lot of wildlife out here, too. I did not run into the moose yet. Okay, sign here. Going in this direction. Let's go. Fortunately, it's a little bit windy day, so we're, uh... Then there's a sign over that way. I'm going to cut this off pudding because it kind of doesn't exactly show you, but we've got the next sign. And as long as it's not pointing back in the other direction, we're okay. And you are pointing this way. And you think your work commute is bad. Well, let me tell you. Alright, so the sign is pointing this way. Let's keep going this way then. And this is the new music stinger. Ah, bravissimo. It is... Oh, man. I don't think I hate about the long, dark music. Is that it's usually only about two minutes long. It's... Ah. Oh. And this is actually Billy's cave. Sorry, Billy. But yeah, he'll respond about once a month in Interloper. A little bit longer sometimes. Chase that with some rabbit. Level 5 cooking. Mwah! It'll be lovely out here. Alright. Keep following the sides. This is much easier than like the second and third time. Alright, so we got a sign this way. We'll try to make good progress today. Listen to that music. Hits your soul, doesn't it? Alright, so of course you've already guessed it. We're going to be taking the left. I probably got a lot of markings along the way here. Okay, so this is the medical right here. It would be this one, I believe. And then right across the way, we got multiple markers. I was really double-checking on that. And this bridge, I thought it was a little more dangerous, because I, when you look at it from the bottom, it looks really rickety, like the trestle. But these bridges are actually not that scary. Yeah, you will find a number of ropes. I don't know about Interloper, but I would imagine that they they kind of threw out the ropes like candy. Because uh, if you didn't know, you're going to need a rope at the very end. If you... Well, not technically. 
But if you want to get back up to this area, you're going to want to rope. Otherwise, it's a long commute. All right, so we're going this way. Come up around. We'll get a little bit, show a little bit of the uh, crampon uh, stamina drain as well. It is very nice. It is very lovely. I feel like it takes about as much energy, but you can climb at much pressure. Yeah, there's a little bit of a rabbit here as well. Now we get to a little bit of a... Yeah, there was a little bit of a fire spot out here. Was this my fire? No, this was actually one of theirs. I'm going to give a look at We're going to have to go over there, though, is the next one. That's not going to give you an overview. That is nice. So basically, there's an upper level and a lower level. Uh, you don't have to do any kind of big puzzle to get, uh, you know, like a decanery or anything. But I feel like it's its own kind of organic puzzle, figuring it all out. It is quite lovely. Yeah, they don't have any really signage here, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Got two little kind of X's here. And I'm going to do a little bit of spray paint so we show this off as well. Let's just go another X here. Alright. Very nice. Okay, let's just... Uh... Oh, and I like it looks like you think you'd fall through that. You actually don't. I kind of just had to do a leap of faith and just go through. Oh, goodness. You'll notice there's not spots in the rope to freak you out. But as long as you generally head straight, keep your cursor straight ahead. You are golden. That's the second one, then. Alright, so now I think we're over there. That was an extra spot there. All right, now let's head up this way. I feel like I hope I didn't hose this up again, but I feel like this is generally the right direction. If not, probably the most efficient way to go. Look at that map, lovely. And with the escape to Darkwalker, and the uh, region selection is very nice as well. Oh, there's another sign. So we are on the right path. It's just not as many signs as you might expect. All right, this way. Very good. We're not picking up anything in this video. Just kind of go over my thoughts and feelings. I think this update is pretty amazing, though. Uh, definitely worth the wait. I think it will tide you over uh, to the uh, update. Uh, spring 2020 of episode 4. Uh, though with the world going the way it is now, uh, probably going to be late spring, I think. But I think it's definitely going to be worth the wait. Uh, coastal reminder, Hinterland is taking a vacation for two weeks. And anybody complains about that, they're going to have to talk to Billy. Okay, I think they deserve a little time off. Alright, so we're here. I do have two locations here, I believe, because I spray painted twice. Just to double check and differentiate. Uh, so right now, currently, we are here. Right there, very nice. I do highly recommend this uh, kind of review of the update. If you haven't hopped into Long Dark, now is a great time. It is uh, quite phenomenal. So we're right now, we're right about here. So we're very, very close to uh, getting to that spot. All right. One more rope ridge. It's really not as bad as you think. Um, also, don't look down. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, don't look down. If you are afraid of heights, I actually don't know why you're playing this game. But, yeah, just don't look down. Maybe you're braving your fears, though. Okay. And this is, what, this is a little off-putting, though, because... Over here, there's no really direction you feel. But you can do over here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bridge. Can you imagine having to go to work in these conditions? I don't know. I'm like, man, I'm good. Maybe just during the summer, I would... Or 
Is there summer in Canada? So you're really going to kind of hug the wall here. Obviously, the other direction to the right is not where you want to go. I'm getting a little bit more map confidence now. And we'll be heading out here on an interloper run. Starting probably Sunday, because I recorded uh, quite a bit ahead to make sure I have a time for all these videos and the updates. And then once again, we got to climb up here. Yeah, got to watch out for it. Uh, all right, let's get up. Because we're going to have to climb. It is a bit of a workout. I found myself, we probably spent about uh, two weeks in game in the on this map now. We did go up to Summit as well. Uh, just because I was kind of perusing all of Timberwolf. For both locations. They were actually pretty easy to find. Once you knew it, I was looking for something, I don't know, maybe a little bit more dramatical fantastic. I don't know. It was a little easier than I thought of, which kind of posed me over. That's beautiful music. Alright, we're going to head straight. Yeah, but there's a lot of wind curve areas in this map, which I think is going to be great for an interloper. A lot of wind cover areas, places you can rest, a lot of caves. It is very, I think, worth it to be an interloper. All right, so I, I started actually then marking, and I just threw around random guns. Uh, so this is the fire area right uh, oop, up here. So then we're just going to go to the left, as the sign dictates. Yeah, once you see that one alpha miner's folly, just follow this and it's going to take you right there. I do I recommend probably going to maybe Pilgrim Run. Do a, do just a dry run before you take like a 500 day run out here. You don't want to get lost, fall down somewhere. Get used to the ropes. And that is another cave. Just a regular cave. Quite a few of them out here. All right. So we're almost at the end of our little journey. I, If I had to rate this score, um, there's there's also a lot of birch. Like I missed so much. Uh, on Pilgrim, I did pick up, I do believe, over 30 birch saplings. That is nutty. Probably about five maple. Now, you're going to have to taper that loot expectations. But even if you taper that down quite a bit from Interloper... It's definitely worth going out for. Uh, but I would have to give this update. Though there are a couple bugs. I mean, and if you lost some badges and stuff, I think you're going to have to earn them again. And if you got badges for free, hey, just take it. Uh, I don't think they haven't fixed stuff like that before. I don't think they can fix it now. So it's probably something we'll have to take. Also, my big pro tip of the day. Don't try to put the rope on this. Because I thought it kind of made sense and it would be kind of cool. No. Alright. So now we do have the cramp on. Uh, already affixed to our inventory. It is going to take up a slot. Remind you there. And we are plenty of carrying weight. Uh, let's go down the rope. We are a little bit... But you will notice... Look how slow that is going. And it is about the same going up as well. Now your energy is going down. Yeah, noticeably different as well, so. This is nice. If you're thinking LMG, but I want to go back up there. There's actually an easier way to get back up there. Because it does kind of loop around where you can get back up there. There is another rope, but it's not quite as uh, big. I know you're a little tired there. Uh, basically... You will kind of come up around this cave. And then you just got another little rope up. And then you'll come back here. This, uh, going through the mining camp and coming out the other way, will come out right here. So it's kind of like the Elder Scrolls. You lead and it comes back out like a dungeon there. Kind of comes back out to where you already came. It's very nice. Alright, this is also a lovely area. Now, there is a, quite a bit of scrub brush in this area. I said the, not a lot of sticks. Even on Pilgrim, so that's a good indication on Interloper, you're going to have less sticks. Alright, it is a lovely area. 
I am uh, really digging the vibe out here. Very nice. There's a corpse at the end over there. And if you want to get down to the bottom, you could just shimmy down that way as well. If you've had, you've done your time, you got what you wanted, you want to get back out. Yeah, just shimmy down to the bottom and head your uh, back out. It would probably be next to show here. If you just go back down this way, follow the river, really. And that will take you back down. Though it might take you over a day, though, because it is... It's a long jaunt. Of the size of the map, I would have to almost say Pleasant Valley size. It just feels like that. I don't think that's necessarily true. We'll have to get the true scopage of the mileage as we're playing through here. But also a uh, plastic container there. It feels more open than Hush River Valley. It feels a very open, very uh, breath of fresh air map. Alright, so we're going to go inside here really quick. Get another picture here. I didn't get, I got an okay picture over here, but yeah, this is the mining camp. Now yeah, that doesn't really do. That. That's yeah, good. All right. And also, one thing I do want to point out, this was, we're talking long dark here. I did really want to ride in the minecart. I was, I would give it a zero out of ten for minecarts. Uh, but I definitely feel like, sort of this. This is, I have to give it a 9 because there's a couple bugs, some other visual glitches, the stuff to probably get worked out. Uh, but the challenges thing and the, you know, uh, problems with the Switch, I don't know if GOG is. Hopefully GOG at least gets the big updates. I know they get hosed over on limited time events, though. I'm not entirely sure to do the yet. Uh, he really never comments on it, so I never really know. But alright, let's get in here. I want to show you where exactly you need to go. You gotta crouch down a little bit. I remember this is always gonna be dark, unfortunately. Let's just pop that out. And there we go. Now we do got a little bit of stuff over here as well. Yeah, obviously an interloper you're gonna have less, but there is a fire barrel, which is very nice. There are some crates up there that I did neglect to tell you about as well. A couple crates you could get. I don't believe there's anything in them. And your footsies are a little cold. Yeah, your footsies are getting cold. I want to take your shoes off before you get in there. So I don't feel like that's a good idea. There's a good amount of coal in here as well. I think definitely also not a bad interloper spot. Though I kind of prefer the views of Miner's Folly. Plus, you do have that bear that shows up. That's quite nice. Look, and that is caved in. That is caved in as well. It's, it's just a little cold. So remember to take your shoes off before you get in. Ooh, ooh, it is. Oh, that's. Is that if I get my pants? No, not really. Just a little bit cold. All right, there we go. Obviously, the mine, the earthquake, had some issues. Just gonna show that off. Your head will go right through that. And that's all pretty much there. She wrote. Alright, get back here, because this is where you're going to find uh, the tactical backpack. It will be right here. And then the crampons uh, will be right here. So, very starting. There's a bed in here as well. It's not bad. There's a little note, too, that won't spoil, but yeah. He's dead. I just threw that. Alright, we'll come out here real quick. Kind of give you a summary of my thoughts and feelings about this map, but I gotta tell you, I'm in love with it. Uh, Hutch River Valley, I did spend about 40 to 50 hours in that before it even came out. Uh, I did test that for Hinterland a little bit. And I never really was 
you know, in love with it. Like, I don't go out there very much just because I don't feel like it's worth it. Uh, you know, in the journey to me. Go out there once, grab your stuff you need, but... I never loved it as much as I already kind of love Ash Canyon. I'm supposed to get less sprains for this as well. And I don't think I've had a sprain... Though I have been doing a lot of shimming down places, so that's that's a little more dangerous. I feel like it has cut down on the sprains. Alright, so we'll head out here to this other cave. So basically, you can come back out the other way. You don't have to take that rope all the way back up. Though you can if you want, but it, it's a bit of an energy drain. It is a rather high up rope. Right, yeah, so you're gonna head down. It's gonna be a little scary. It was too scary for this guy. Yeah, your ankles are not gonna thank you for that. And there's another zapling. There's a lot of zaplings. At least on Pilgrim. I think if I'm on Interloper, the loot would be phenomenal. So there's a rope up there as well. Or if you wanna go down to the lower level. If you want to kind of come down to this side, or you kind of want to go back up. Let's just take a look down and make sure. And yeah, this is more of the going the down. That is going back up to the, uh, yeah, because that's the corpse right there. This is going back up to the uh, mining camp. So you would still have a rope. They're about the same size. I just have a ledge on it, but. All right, ladies and gentlemen, though. Yeah, I gotta give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, just because a couple little glitches. I mean, stuff to probably get fixed out. Uh, but uh, my final verdict is an awesome time. An amazing job by Hinterland. Even not in the bestest of years, but it is quite good. Uh, they gave me stuff in this update. I didn't even know I wanted or needed. It is quite good. Yeah, great lighting. Uh, phenomenal map. I love it quite a bit. Can't wait to get out here on an interloper run. But right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. Does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.